In this video, we're going to look at how to work with outside code sources. Now, sometimes you may copy some example code from something that you've seen online or from a textbook or other reference, and you type it in and you're getting error messages. So this is an example of one just like that where I've copied in the code exactly the way it was and I've double checked and all of my syntax is correct but I'm still getting error messages. So in Eclipse there are some tools that we can use to help with this. First of all, um, I'm going to go to the first error that I have here for an array list and it shows me a list of quick fixes. Now what I want to do is import the array list in here. Now when you're referencing a class for the first time in your code, we need to specify the class name or the package name that we want to import in. So if I click on import, I want you to notice that it's going to add it up here with the import statements. So if I add this import statement, you can see that it's added it up here to import out of the Java Utilities array list. And then both of these errors have gone away. So now if I save my file again, you'll see that this little black X over here disappears. And we could continue going through here. Here's array adapter, import array adapter and then that will add an import statement up here for array adapter. Now we can go through by each one and uh, select one of the quick fixes. And also in Eclipse, there is an organize imports command. And on Windows, it's control shift O. And on the Mac, it's command shift O. And what this will do is automatically organize our imports it will remove any one that, ones that are unused and add new ones for packages that we've used but haven't been imported already. So if we've made some modifications and remove something out of here and it's no longer needed up here, then Eclipse will remove it for us. Control Shift O or Command Shift O, and that is the letter O on the keyboard. Uh, before it does everything, it comes up now if there's ever any ambiguity it's, it's not sure or there might be more than one thing to pick from it pops up and it gives us the choice of which package we want to import so we want to choose the Android view on key listener and that goes along with the rest of the code that we have in here with the on key listener so I'm going to click finish and then you can see that now all of those other errors are gone. You can see where they used to be. And it's imported in all of the packages that we need in order to work with those classes. Now the errors that are left here are just, uh, it thinks that there's uh, spell checking. It's doing spell checking and so it doesn't know what list view is. So that's the only reason that those are still left there. So once I would save this and run it, uh, I have no other problems. Once I save this, these little other black marks here will go away. One thing is, even though you may be looking at code and resources from other ones, other examples, uh, they may not specify or, or be that exact to say, you know, you have to import these in. So as you're working, you can hover over or Command Shift O or Control Shift O in order to have Eclipse do that for us automatically. In addition, we can configure Eclipse to automatically organize your imports each time you save a file. So it would save you even the trouble of doing uh, Command Shift O or hovering over something. And to set that up, you can move into your Package Explorer and you can right click on the project and choose Properties. And from here, you're going to find the Java Editor options and click on Save Actions. And then from here, you can check off Enable Specific Project Settings and then check off Perform the Selected Actions on Save. And you can have it reformat your source code to align things up if you like. 
Uh, but if you choose Organize Imports, then it's automatically going to do the same thing that we were just doing by hand to import the package name. So I can click Apply. If I wanted to make other changes in my settings here, I could. And I'm just going to click OK. So that's the basics of working with imports in Eclipse.